So here's the situation. I'm gonna to go to a honey hole for Omni Parts in Colorado. Doesn't have a title. Doesn't have a title, but it's got good floors. Man. That was my yard car. I was driving it until I parked it. That is so cool. I started robbing parts off of it. You said the floors are still good? Omni. Omni, yeah. Uh, I yeah. paid a lot of money for that, but it, it looks like the paint was in really good shape. This thing had a perfect interior because I had a turbo one. Okay, a yeah. A real nice one. And this had a good windshield, which I cracked trying to take it out. Oh, man, of course. So I took the entire interior out of this and put it in my other one. Okay. And then I sold it. Yeah, that makes sense. This was a Plymouth, huh? This is the Horizon. It's a Plymouth, yeah. Yeah, okay. Thanks, Fit. Got another intake here. A 2.2. A little greasy, but you know. And over here. Got some other cool projects. Here's a non-turbo GLH. It's got the uh, five lug. There's a GLH. Yep, five lug, but this one's not a turbo. This one's a, uh, wow. So here's a CSX, check it out. That's got the, the coveted shovel. Number 100? Yeah. Oh man. God, this is a cool car. It's got a, I don't remember what number the engine came out of. Okay. But it came out of another CSX. Man, that is incredible. Just beautiful. You've, you've kept this thing up really nicely. That's. Yeah, I still drive it. AC works and everything. <laughs> I put about 5,000 miles on here in the last three months oh, or so. Oh, dang. Man, you just do not see these on the road and anymore. I had one guy who was interested. Well, will it make a 30 mile or 30 hour trip to Florida? And I, <laughs> I don't oh, no. know. It might die right out of having to hear the driveway. I ain't yeah. going to say nothing like I right. Heard from him again. You can't guarantee anything like that, no, man. When I wouldn't. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's an old car. You know, you still yeah. got. I love the seats, dude. That's like pure. They're swapped out of an RS. Is that an RS? Or a Sundance RS, I think it was. Man. And I got the original steering wheel. That's out of a TC right there. Okay. I don't leave it in here. If somebody else steal it. Right. No, that's cool. Does this have a boost gauge? I don't remember if these had the. Just the factory one. Just factory. Okay. Yeah. And it's over there in the center, which you probably can't see. Yeah, it. I can't see it. That's you can okay. Open it if you want. Just if you don't mind, yeah. That's not a show car. This thing is cool. Yeah, I got one out of a Daytona that I'm going to put in the Rampage. Okay, yeah, I see it. The uh, the Daytona one is really similar. Here's that really cool little graphic down here that Shelby CSX. Man, that is so cool. Gave it to my daughter along. I had it. For a year or two. Okay. My daughter was, oh, I like it. I don't want to swap the motor and everything. Okay. And then I bought it back. I gave him money and he bought it back. <laughs> now I got it. I don't know. Probably all together 10 years or 8 years or so. That's cool. Dang, look at that tire. Is that a, three, that's a 340 Dart original? It's original 273. Oh, original 273. Okay. Yeah, I put the 340 in it. Oh, that looks good. <laughs> wow. It's kind of dirty and stuff now. It's got that cool looking alternator in there. So. It's kind of not much fun driving with these prices. Uh, yeah, 50 miles an hour even, right? Yeah, Probably. it just it doesn't even go very far, and it's like, I already need, need gas. <laughs> so, yep. That's why I like the Shelby. That's why I've been driving at it. It probably gets about 30 miles a gallon. It gets right at 30. Dang. Unfortunately, it needs spring. Yeah, there's a couple of front ends but up That here. one's got the red stripe, so I know yeah. it's a factory piece. That's got to be, and that's got to be a GLH piece, right? Because, yeah, it's, got, it's for an Omni. And those are black rampage door panels. Oh, that's cool. I'm pretty sure. Huh. I don't know. I had some brown ones. I don't know if they're still up there. Let's see what we got going here. All right. I guess that ain't going to hold up. There's some. Look at these turkeys. These are probably wild turkeys. Yeah, these are wild turkeys. Look at that. Look at that time. Is that time? Yeah. You mean male? The bigger ones, the male. That's the Tom. That might be Tim. Yeah. That's some things. Oh, you've not always that. You should not always that. Yeah. That's good. There's at least four of them. <laughs> Send this to Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Yeah, that's a good one. Send this to Brian. Man, when you're looking for turkeys, Ooh, you can't that? find them. What's that cool plant there? This one? Do you see? Yeah, it looks kind of like a plant. Not quite. Let's see what we got here. We got some uh, little front areas. This looks like a lot of Bondo on this guy. Another one was picked up to supplement that because, yeah, that's in a bit of rough shape there. So one, two, one for each side. That's good. Hey, yeah, we got two of these little fuck guys here. Let me clean them up. I like this. That's pretty cool. Mopar performance parts. Looks really good. 
All right. And then uh, I didn't realize that only one of them has the GLH turbo. The other one only says GLH. And then of course, there's a spoiler that came off of a charger as well. So that is pretty cool. Go for it. There we go, that looks a lot better. Some of that's not gonna come off. Go ahead and uh, spray the back over there. Yeah, get all that nice layer of dust off. Sitting in the barn for a while. 